Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella. Today I'm going to be showing you how I create this very soft, simple makeup look for the summer. This has been my go-to pretty much every single time that I do my makeup in the summer, especially for the daytime. If you're curious on how I create this makeup look, then please keep on watching. So the first thing that I like to do is to prime my face and I'm using the Shiseido Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer. The reason why I like to use a primer, especially in the summertime when it's very hot outside, is even if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I feel like it helps my face stay oil-free a little bit longer and it just prevents my makeup from moving. So I apply the primer and let that sit on my face for about a minute or so before continuing with the rest of my makeup. Once the primer has dried down, I like to go in directly with concealer. I usually skip foundation on very hot summer days. If I were to apply foundation, it would be the Chanel Les Beige. This is the Water Fresh and I use the shade B30. I absolutely love it. So what I do with my concealer, Hourglass, again, I have the shade Sipia. I use very little because a little goes a long way on any blemishes that I have and just where I want to highlight a little bit. And then I use a bigger uh, brush. This is from Real Techniques. It's the 200 Expert Face Brush. And I just pat in that concealer. And on the blemishes, I'm going to go ahead with my finger first. And you can see how simple and fresh that looks. It just brightens up underneath the eyes and where I need it a tiny bit. Next for contour, I'm using the Westman Atelier. I like to mix both of them. So I have the Face Trace Stick in Biscuit and in Truffle. Truffle, I like to use on my cheekbones and forehead. And then Biscuit, I like to use for my nose, a little bit on the eyelids and around my lips. And then I use my flat angled brush from Sephora just to go ahead and blend all of that in. And I like to blend outwards into the hairline just to make the contour appear as natural as possible. And you can see that I'm using the brush almost right underneath my eyes as I'm blending as well. Again, this just helps to get all of the colors to come together and to just make it look more of like you've gotten a little bit of sun on your face. Once all of that is blended out, I'm going to make sure that there's no creasing underneath my eyes and just go ahead and set. To set, I'm using the Pat McGrath's. This is the under eye powder. I have the shade light. I actually broke this on my trip to Bodrum, but I refuse to get rid of it because it is just so good and I purchased it very recently. After I put some on a powder puff, I just like to get rid of the excess on the back of my hand and go ahead and set the under eye area. I also use this for the top of my eyelids because for some people those tend to get oily in the summer throughout the day as well. And then using the same powder puff, I like to use the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder to set the rest of my face where I applied the concealer. And then with whatever's left, which is pretty much nothing, I just kind of go all over. Uh, now that my face is set, I like to add a little bit of bronzer and I have just been using this one non-stop. It is the Valentino. I believe this is the universal shade. It's the shade 00. And I just use a big brush. And I just apply that everywhere where I contoured. And now that that's done for blush, I love to use the Valentino blush. 
and this is the shade two this is the eye to cheek i absolutely love this you'll see in a minute why i like to dust off a lot of this product for it to apply evenly and also because it is quite pigmented and i just kind of pat a little bit over my nose a little bit on my eyelids and just whatever's left where my forehead is and you can see that just gives the softest natural glow i'm gonna fill in my brows quickly using the dior brow pencil this is waterproof so it is absolutely amazing for the summertime Uh, next for my eyes, I keep it very simple. Some days I actually just use the bronzer that I put on and I would be finished. But today to jazz it up a little bit, I'm going to be using the Shantakai Mermaid Eye Matte. I have the shade Sylvie. My absolute favorite single eye pot shadow that I have. And the reason why I love it so much for the summertime is because it does not move, it does not crease. And I also feel like it just blends so nicely with the rest of my makeup. And with what's left, I kind of pinch my brush and I just go right underneath the eye. And I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I will be right back. So I have curled my eyelashes for mascara. I'm gonna be using the YSL Lash Clash and I have the shade two. This is the brown color. And I just feel like it looks a little bit more natural, a little bit suited for the daytime in the summer. And I just absolutely love this mascara. I think this is my second or third tube. And I just keep repurchasing them because there's nothing quite like this mascara. That is one coat. And you can take a look at this eye compared to this. It makes such a world of a difference. Last but not least, moving on to lips. I'm gonna show you guys one of my go-to, just favorite lip combos. And I have been doing this in the evening time, in the daytime, during the summer. I just feel like it looks very nice, flattering, and it's also very simple. To outline my lips, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever. This is the shade 506 Endless Cacao. And I use this just to contour my lips a little bit. And then with my finger, I just kind of spread it everywhere. And then I like to do the center of my lips a little bit lighter. So I've been using the one size lip liner. This is the shade Shy But Fly. And I just do very little. And then again, use my finger to pat it in. Last but not least for lips, I'm using my favorite lip balm. This is the Chanel 804. And it looks super pink in the tube, but it goes on very nice, sheer and flattering. And I feel like it helps bring all the colors together. So that is my makeup look, but the last step that I like to do, especially in the summertime, to keep my face together, though I'm not wearing any foundation, is I still like to set my makeup. And the setting spray that I've been using is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. I shake it up a little bit. Once my mascara is dry, I like to spritz just a little bit on my face, and I feel like this makeup will stay put for hours and it just, I owe a lot of it to this setting spray as well. So once I've sprayed my face, I help to dry off a little bit. And another trick is I like to use a clean uh, beauty blender and very light handedly just pat the setting spray in. And that is it, you guys. That is my very simple, everyday summer makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.